Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. You're here with Randall Lefebvre, otherwise known as... Scar, 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 get out of the way. Otherwise known as Drax Craven when he's selecting the final. The final selection. Fleeing the Empire's troops, Bannon, Edgar, and Terra ride the rapids towards Narsh. But the going won't be easy. I'm... I'm reasonably certain the goings will be pretty easy. Um, between the auto crossbow, Bannon's health ability, and Terra's blade, we should be totally fine. <laughs> Yeah, just just do this and then and then just let it ride. Just let them ride, man. Just keep going. Just, just, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to stop. Like there's no point. I will just kill all the monsters. Oh, look. We made it. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. Crazy difficult, you know? Oh, man. How 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 could we have survived such a perilous journey? I think we've fought twice oh boy oh geez no one has any sprint shoes must remedy this i oh, can't change bannon's equipment running shoes tara go fast oh god damn it i'm out of sprint shoes well earrings will have to do all right let's just go back in here and talk to them about the returners hey lady didn't you just bust out of here wearing magitek armor in here pardon me uh, no. Uh, that must be someone else. Uh, wait a second. Get out of here. If you don't. Oh, jeez. They'll kick an old man. Hold on. I'm Kenny Edgar Figaro. Liar. Well, this didn't work out. Ay, ay, ay. What kind of attitude is... That kind of attitude is deadly. He won't even listen. It's all my fault. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Basically. Probably not the best to send her in as an envoy. Just saying. Maybe, I don't know, maybe let Bannon lead the way? It's like he's really charismatic or something. Also, I'm going to put Bannon in the back row because holy shit, I do not need that man to die. Isn't it instant game over if he dies? Yeah, let's not. Let's not, shall we? But, if you remember, there's a secret passage over here. When Locke first helped me out, he fiddled with something right around here. Knowing him, there's probably some secret switch in this rock wall. Ba boom He told you not to forget it, and he wasn't kidding. Uh, I love, I love the music of Narsh. Oh look, where rats? They're dead. <laughs> there's something just incredibly satisfying about going back and just being able to kill all the monsters. That, that used to offer any sort of challenge before really, really fast. Oh, this is a completely new... Right, because um, when Locke rescued us, we were just sort of in cutscene mode. Like, there wasn't even any... Oh, uh, jeez. There wasn't even, like, I wasn't even controlling. It was just, we just ran out. So I don't actually know the path. Clever game. Clever. Oh, God damn it! What now? Wild rat. Whoa, what the hell are these things? Uh, nothing good. Burn them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Killing it with fire? Completely unnecessary. 213 free experience points. Thanks, game. You're a peach. What do we have here? Oh, boy. Okay, I should be able to remember that. Basically take all the turns. Goodness, what's that? I think this is a security checkpoint. If we follow the light exactly, we'll probably be okay. If we make a mistake, the light will surround us. To proceed safely, we must tag the glimmering light. How do you know that, Edgar? How do you know that? Have you done a lot of... Uh, when, when did you study Narshian advanced um, security measures? Also... How the hell did they make that? What is it what is it made out of? Like they don't have any magic check. I'm so confused. Anyway. Oh look. It's these things. And they're dead now. Whoa. Edgar gained that sweet, sweet 15 experience point level. Nice. Well if you go around the back way, you might remember this area. That's right. It's where we where we were the Moogles protecting Terra. 
not so long ago. And if you continue on, you can find the Moogle Caves. Hey guys. Koopal. Now Moogles can't speak. Koopal. Pop. <laughs> but there is some sweet Moogle music. And if I recall, yeah, if you go through the passage back here, there's a treasure. I don't know if it upgrades later, but I'm willing to bet that it does. And if it doesn't, then we'll get it then. Still, another time, another time. And then there's the secret exit from the Moogle Caves. We get it, the were rats. Give me the potion. And then we can move through this back way in order to talk to the old man. It would probably be a good idea to save. Just saying. Always cycle your saves. Never know when you might uh, have a gigantic catastrophic crash or something. <laughs> this never happened to me. Nope, not in a million years. But, moving on. Oh god, what I would give for sprint shoes. I'd suck Kefka's dick for shit. Switch. Fuck, sprint shoes. God damn it. <sighs> anyway. Goddamn voice made of rubber ruining jokes. Bannon, King Edgar, and Terra. Arvis, what's happened here in Nash? Arvis? Alright. Town's neutral. I've tried to get the people to side with the returners, but. Anyway, why on earth have you come here? Why are they neutral? <laughs> I was in matchstick armor, plowing through guards, killing the shit out of people, and they're like, I don't know. Maybe these empire people people are on the level. They will stomp on you. First, how are your people doing? They all went slightly berserk when the Esper was discovered. Look. We believe this young woman is of our only hope of reaching out to that Esper. My people are dying to know what the Esper looks like. Maybe Terra can help restore some order to our town. I like how Arvis gets a unique model, even though, like, we never see him again. That Esper is either going to save us or dig us an early grave. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, that was short and simple. The three have reached Narsh, and a decisive battle is about to take place. How do you know that? How do you know that, narrator? Why are you telling me that? Do not destroy my dramatic tension. The Elder. I understand all of it, except how can we be encouraging bloodshed? I never said that. Something like that. <laughs> He's right, you know. Bannon, our blood will spill because of you. Emperor Gestal's racing to acquire Magitek power. He set his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of Magitek power will surely lead to global destruction. The War of the Magi. The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can this really be happening? Though people will never learn. Brother! Oh, I'm sorry. Brother! There we are. Sabin, you're alright. Who are these people with you? I'm Cyan, retainer to the Lord of Doma. Gow. The people of Doma were wiped out by the Empire. Kefka poisoned everyone. Barbaric. Elder. But that was only because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake... War is upon you, dude. That's nonsense. Locke. The Empire is poised to attack Narsh right now. What? Locke, where'd you hear that? Celestia was one of the Empire's generals. I knew she seemed familiar. Sir Gao, get free of my way. This is General Celeste. She touched, she torched Miranda. She's an Imperial spy. Now stand aside. Wait, Celeste has joined the Returner. She's fighting with us now. But I promised I'd protect her. I will not back out on my word. Locke is a white knight. But you have thief stats, bro. You can't tank that aggro. You can't tank that cyan aggro. 
Look, are you still thinking about that? Oh, mysterious past. Okay, so Terra has a mysterious past, Gao has a mysterious past, Locke has a mysterious past, and Shadow probably has a mysterious past. Past. We're like four for eight at this point? That's 50% of characters with mysterious pasts. I was also an Imperial soldier. What? The Empire is evil, but not all of its citizens are. Oh, this is... What? What? <laughs> Emergency! The Empire cometh! <laughs> Why? Why are you saying it that way? Oh, whatever. I don't care what you do here. Just give me that Esper. Lord Kafka, there are civilians here. Just exterminate everyone. But Narsha's neutral, you idiots. Read my lips. Dispose of any who oppose us. Now march. What the hell? Why is Kafka a general? Why did Gestal let that happen? We really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. They're after the Esper. We moved it to the hills. And we're going up after it. Knock his complicated past. I wouldn't go thinking he's fallen for you or something. I'm a soldier, not some love-starved twit. Cold as ice. <laughs> I love all this incidental dialogue. So, you were born with the power of magic. Isn't it a lovely gift? You can use magic too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as a magitech knight. Have you ever loved anyone? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Don't think for a moment I trust you. Fine, use your own eyes, then decide. Jeez, Celeste is involved with all of this dialogue. Anyway. This is an opportunity to equip yourself. Um, you can select different characters, and then you'll exchange with them, and then you can change their equipment and make sure that you have the stuff that you need to win this fight. Not much to do. Um, most, most of my uh, soldiers have the best equipment, but I will... Yep, that's that. And I know that Gao, Cyan, and uh, Sabin have the best money can buy. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. That was weird. When you hit the save point, you suddenly turn into Terra. Huh. Creepy. All right, Bannon. Are you prepared? I'm ready. Save the Esper from Kefka? Need some more info? No, thanks. I know what I'm doing. So you need to split your party into three groups. I'm going to uh, create one incredibly powerful group because I'm an idiot. I'm going to put Locke with Celeste because of white knightedness. And then I'm going to put Gao with Terra for reasons beyond my control or understanding. And so I'm going to have Celeste and Terra's group run interference. And um, Edgar's going to go straight for, uh, straight for the kill. Ugh! Everybody get ready. Oh ho, it's General Celeste, the traitor. How delightful. This will be fun. <sighs> okay, the green troopers are not as effective as the brown troopers. They're the uh, shock troops. Go kill those vile insects. No, I need to select this one. Okay. Then I move Edgar this far. Um, Terra will plug up that hole, so this will plug up that hole. All right, charge Edgar. He's got the most powerful character, so he should be fine. And the other two have healers, so even if they don't have really powerful uh, offensive techniques, they can keep themselves alive. Was oh, everyone here in the front row? I should change that. Oof. I was hoping the auto crossbow would kill them off. Not the case. 
it's a pity that you can't control Cyan or uh, Sabin's uh, attacks. It's probably for the best, though. Balance. It's a thing. I still think... One second. Oh, good. They don't keep moving. Oh, no. He has equipped the Mithril Claw. I didn't see the animation. Just switch to fighting. These soldiers are really not very powerful. That being said, apparently I'm going to have to go through a bunch of them to get to where I need to go. Just get out of my way. You're already dead, you just don't know it. Oh god, so many! <sighs> Alright, let's heal up a little bit. It would be embarrassing to fall to these, I don't know, Cretans, peons, whatever you want to call them. Oh god, there's more! Oh jeez. Heavy armor? That looks dangerous. Oh god, it's shooting lasers. No mercy. Oh, god damn it. How many of these twerps are they gonna send at us? Probably a lot. What do we have here? Fidor? What is that? What is it? I wanna know. It looks like a dog. That's not a dog. I don't know what it is. I'm going to destroy it. it seems to be resistant to poison. It might just be resistant to magical damage. I think it's just resistant to magical damage. I don't think they had invented elemental resistance yet. Oh, what? Are they spawning in more dudes? Oh no, back attack, no bueno. Oh no, the damage. Ooh, improved damage. I like it. Yeah, these guys should be toast. More like burnt toast. I love to hate that line. <laughs> Yay, level ups for everyone. Now, oh God, jeez, a rider. Oh boy. Um, auto crossbow. Yeah, retort's only a good idea to use when there are not many. Uh, when the fewer people there are in your party, the better it is to use retort because it's more likely that Cyan will get attacked. And I'm not gonna bother poison this guy because you know, nine poison damage every once in a while is just not worth it. Oh geez, the rider is down. Ooh, got a remedy. And 1,200 gold pieces. I can dig it. All right. Time to put an end to this. Break their assault. Kill Kefka once and for all. All right, let's go for a round, big man. Oh. Is he using physical attacks? Did he just slap me? Also, what a dandy. Scarves, capes, what a clown outfit. <sighs> Looks like he's not putting up much offense. Oh no! Poison! Oh shit, okay. I was not expecting that to do so much damage. The poison status effect? No problem. The damage? Okay, you, sh you surprised me. Ugh. Um... What's sword technique number three? It still hasn't... It hasn't landed yet. Oh boy. That could be bad. Oh, that's a bad. Damn it, it keeps missing. What's it supposed to do? I don't know. Wakarimasen. Ah, oh, jeez. Kefka's tougher than I thought. I was expecting him to go down easy. Not the case. Oh no. Running out of time. Oh no. I can't beat him fast enough. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, the battle continues. Good night, everyone.